Let's get back into the fray. All right, we have three leaders to choose from once again. We could do the explodey leader. When hit, apply to. So we have a bit of like a tank that could make others stronger. Or we have just a big dude. We, uh, we did tinkers last time, so let's do that. And then what does the Dread Bell do? Some enemies will be upgraded with charms and will drop more money. Okay, well, I guess we have to do this one to get the additional ones. So let's do that. We're not going to go win streaking at the moment, but I like the idea of the overburn build. Let's try it out. I think it, it lends itself well to combo. And then... Does Demonize synergize with overburn, I wonder? I do not know. We'll go for Loki. All right. So we, we have our first smack back, friendo. So let's see. I think we want to... Trying to think how we how we do this. I think we got some time, so we'll just get a Jun Jun out to kind of tank for us initially. So let's see, you're gonna hit for two. We don't really need that. We could slow you down. So you're gonna get the kill here. That's not that's hard to avoid unless we kill you into the Gongoon. Oh, the penguin the penguin does have smack back as well, you're correct. But we would just kill it here. Maybe we kill it with a tar blade so that we just take the one damage. Buys us some time. Yeah, I don't mind that. Uh we'll we'll do that. Now, here's an interesting question. I guess uh, we hit, we hit, and then this guy explodes. We don't love that. I think the Jun Jun might be just dying here, because I want to stack up for Overburn for the combo potential. So I think I'll do this. Well, that was ineffective. Um... So you're not you're not fury active, so that's that's all well and good. I think we just try and get some gobbling money here. That's that's probably the best we're gonna be able to do. Okay, two combo was was about as good as I could have hoped. I think. Uh, we'll move you two down here. I don't think slowing you down is particularly useful. These two are synced, which I, I really like. Let's, uh... Let's just do that. So that if... If push comes to shove, we can do that. Now, the Junjun is a countdown of three. So if I wait until these are at one, no, that doesn't work. Let's just soften this guy up. Okay, so you're going to hit aimlessly. I don't think there's... Is there any way that we can delay? No, I think, I think we're just getting the kill. So if that's the case... Might as well just do this. Oh, okay. So demonize does not work with overburn. We now know. So we can get a two combo here. I think we do that. Wait. Oh, it has to survive. 
Interesting. So you could, Loki, you can take four damage. We can do this. So I'm going to have Loki get the kill down here. I think we want the we want the toot horn. This is reduced countdown by two. Oh, that means everybody goes at the same time. Which means we could get a four combo. It's gonna make Big Pang pretty annoying, but Okay, so you're we can snow you up. Nobody else is coming, so we, we're just going to try and burn this guy down. All right. We got a four combo. That's pretty good. Yeah, Loki having aimless definitely is a bit of a challenge. But if we got a gotcha chomper, we, we have learned an important lesson about that. Uh, let's see. We're already 89, so we have our we have our first crown. So I think treasure and two frozen travelers is probably gonna solidify our deck identity a bit more. I like Frostbell here. I think Frostbell is very good. The fact that it has barrage is really interesting. When deployed, copy the effects of a random enemy. So you just keep getting more and more. We don't really have a great way to do that. Palm Bomb, first pick is strong too. Noted. Uh, I think we'll go with Splinter. I don't know if uh, if it's going to be insane, but it seems, it seems like there's some interesting potential there. I love the idea of Monch very much. But we don't really, I mean, like, it would be the first step towards a sacrifice deck, but, like, we don't really have much, we have no sacrifice synergy at the moment, so we'd be kind of, like, betting on it. I, I think Big Berry is a very safe pick here. Yeah, it gives us some, gives us some health. We get a little bit of healing with it. Okay, so we have a splinter that is a mimic. That's pretty insane. Uh, you're gonna hit for one and reduce our our HP. That's or excuse me, reduce our whatever. That's fine. Do I just want to take it here instead? Nah, we're we're better off taking it on Shayun. Yeah, the Splinter Mimic is is very interesting. Let's see. So you're you're gonna hit in a barrage. We don't really want to do anything crazy here. Uh, it's a barrage for zero though, right? So we don't really care. We should probably just let it go. Now, triggers when an ally. So we are not our own ally. We could use Blizzard Bottle. You're gonna hit for four. Yeah, just slowing this guy down, I think, is good. So we're going to get two Mimic hits here. So I think this kills this entire row. Do we want to kill this entire row right now? I think we don't. I think we want to. I think we want to hold off and get a bit more on the, on the map first. So I'm actually going to do it this way. Because I, th I think we can do better. Let's see. So we can, by using the sun, the sun burst, we can get like insane value out of everyone attacking on the same turn.
That was a little a little risky. Okay, yeah, this this barrage and the mimic attack are both zeroed out, so I think that's fine. So let's see, you're going to be attacking for one. That's not going to get any damage here. We can get an extra attack here. Big Berry, that's... how oh, Big Berry really needed to hit for five. Uh, I guess it's okay. Let's just do that. And I think we get a four combo here. That was quite cool. Uh... Quite, quite a cool result there. We can move you down here. And then what are our chances? We're gonna definitely gonna draw a tar blade and then we could draw a blizzard in a bottle to slow down the goblin. So I think it's worth trying. Do that. Okay, so let's see. So right off the bat, it looks looks to me like if we get a hit off of the goblin here, that's great. I think we I think we toss a frost bell here just to reduce attacks, and we might as well move you down. Okay, then you're attacking, you're attacking. So we can do that. And then... So you're going to hit for five, then you're going to hit for uh, four, you're going to hit for zero, you're going to hit for four again. I don't think we have the kill here. Splinter seems to have triggered, like, once more than I was expecting them to. Okay, is there any... If we draw, like, a full complement of, uh, of Tar Blades... Three is not enough. So we get the kill here. So, okay, so if we didn't want to get the kill here. Have the Junjun take this hit. We stack some Overburn here. Oh, that was his turn? Okay, that's what was going on. So let's see, Junjun can take that hit. We put a little bit of Overburn on you, and then I think we have the kill, like, next turn. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the, the Mimic. Okay, well, Splinter, you did a good job. Our cash flow is looking decent. Infernoco, okay. I think we gotta go bottom, get that uh, get that woolly snail life going. We can see what our treasure is first, though. It's got to be the Numlin biscuit here. So we have no sacrifice synergy. So that means Groff is hard. Chicky is interesting. Snoffle? Not better than Big Berry, I don't think. Maybe better than Loki, though. I think Snoffle is better than Loki. Is Shikani? I mean, for the potential of, like, Skull Mist or something like that, I will take it. And I think, honestly, better than Loki. I think Pinkberry Juice is the play here. I like Mimic, but we we don't normally have that many attacks. So I think I think the Pinkberry Juice is good. B pop. When destroyed, apply four to the attacker for overburn. So we got some good summons available here, for sure. We'll start with the crown. It's interesting that we, that Splinter, I guess Splinter is still is potentially a good one to get out. 
I wonder what happens to their abilities when they get unsummoned. It's an interesting question. So, okay, so add Soulbound to an ally, add Soulbound to an enemy. To a random enemy. So we could use this with, with Chicky Chicky whatever. That's interesting. The Fallow I remember being quite good as well. This fits with our deck. We could do these two. I kind of like the idea of, of trying to make a Soulbound Skulls deck work. I guess the randomness is a little rough with it, but... Yeah. I, I like the idea of going full overburn. Fallow is just Fallow is just such a good tank. That's the thing about Fallow. I'll grab this either way, I think. And then This this is the more interesting one because we haven't done an over an overburn deck yet. So we'll see. see what you get. You get Barrage. Okay. How much health does this thing have? One. So it's immediately going to overburn you. I kind of want to... The Mini Moko starting with one is kind of a bummer. I kind of like this idea. So ordering here is, is a little off. Cause ideally I wanted the, I wanted you. Okay, so you're gonna take the hit here. You take no damage. You get the overburn, which is what I want, and then you barrage down over here. Yeah, and then the, the problem that we're running into is... We'll do this. Okay. So somehow I managed to not... Uh, I thought I thought B-Pop was going to die. They did not. So this is going to be this we can get 6 overburn by having these here I think. It's going to be a pretty bad turn when this happens. I think if we get the Junjun out. So you're going to hit for 2. This will do 6 damage to everybody here through overburn. Plus four, six plus four. So if we do this, I think then everyone dies. Big Berry's attack is kind of wasted, but. Oh. Okay, let us never speak of that one again. Wait, what happened? I, I just miscounted? Yeah, I guess I did. Jeez. 
All right, let us 